Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to episode 4 of FIFA Career Mode. Today we start off with a, a cup match against Genoa. And then we will have a our first league match of the season against Palmer. But without further ado, let's get into this first match, first competitive match of the season. And Genoa, here's their lineup. They are not starting Perrin, they're playing a 3 4 3 kind of formation. But the maybe it's more of a 3 4 2 1. But they've also got Pandev, who was for a while the only gold player. Macedonian player in Ultimate Team and also Loic Landre, someone we tried to sign earlier this season. But here's our lineup. Um, normal formation, 5-2-1-2. Castagnetti and Buglio in midfield. Antasi, Pascal at left and right back. Fornazier, Romagnoli, Vasselli at centre back. Caputo and Donnarumma up top. Zaych at Cam and Providell in goal. And that was the most stuffed up, out of order way of reading out the names ever. But anyway, let's get started in this match. Hopefully we can pick up a victory against higher league opposition. But here come Genoa and Laxalt fires that one over the bar. Chance there, but here they come in the 13th minute now. He lays off for Rigoni, but thankfully for us, he put it well over the bar. But here come Genoa again. It's Galabinov, and he plays through Pandev, who really should have finished that one and that was a let off for us but here we're coming upfield here is Pascal he plays it Caputo receives the ball he hits the post it comes back out to Untersee but he's tackled and Genoa eventually get the ball clear but just um, eight minutes before half time we've got another chance Zaych coming inside but he's tackled they play it back but then the goalkeeper gives it straight to Donnarumma. Then he dives on the ball, trips over his own man. Donnarumma gets away, gets, comes away with it. But his pass to Zaych is poor and the keeper gets it. But then just before half time, up come Jenner on the attack. And was that Rigoni smashes one in from the edge of the box. What a great hit that was. As I start getting spam messages from my cousin. But apart from that... We are 1 0 behind. Hopefully, though, we can come back and pick up a victory in the second half. But a good finish from. Oh, they gave it an own goal. How was that known own goal? Oh, well, well. And then just before half time, just when you thought it was over, we have another chance. Caputo playing in Zaych, and he hits the post. And it rolls across the goal line and then smacked away for a throw-in. But there was no further highlights to come from that half. We were losing 1-0 at half-time. Um, thanks to Rigoni's strike, or if you're going to go by their scoring, Romagnoli's own goal. But anyway, 1-0 at the break. But here they come on the attack. Punched away, but a very poor clearance from Undersea and it was a wasted opportunity there from Miguel here we've got the ball again Caputo receives it he turns he's still on the ball here he plays it out to Undersea Undersea puts the cross in towards Castagnetti who pops that one into the back of the net and then when Undersea started running off celebrating I was confused and then I realized with the help of the upcoming replay that the defender put it into the back of his own net well, that wasn't the most smart thing to do. He would have he would have been better off just leaving Castagnetti to get to it, rather than headering it into his own net. But then they brought on Robin Van Persie. I'm not quite sure how they managed to acquire his services, but they did. And it was 1-1, and we had the chance to come back in the second half and um, take a 2-1 win, or even better. But here's Van Persie. He turns... He got, he's still going here, Van Persie. He finds Rossi, who really should have done better than that. Another player, Giuseppe Rossi, who I recognise. But there's a yellow for Caputo there for an earlier challenge. But here's Undersea getting played in. He turns. He finds a lot of space. All the defenders back off him, but he fires the shot 
over the bar. He really should have done better with that. But here comes Pascal, a mazy run down field. Donnarumma receives the ball, but his shot's blocked. And it'll be a corner. Seven minutes left in the game now. They're bringing on Bertolacci. And we bring on uh, Ben Asser for Buglio. Is it Buglio? Or is it something else? But anyways, that's a nice corner. Unfortunately, we can't win the header. And Van Persie gets onto it. And he shrugs off Zaych and he's still going. Somehow, we don't have the pace to catch up to the old Dutchman. But he's still going here. Thankfully, his cross, though, falls straight into the hands of Providel. And here, we're coming up on the attack. Ben Asser playing in Caputo with just two minutes left. He turns inside, but his finish is poor. And the keeper manages to make a save. But then a poor touch from the defender allows us to get a corner as we make our last substitution. Laperto coming on for Vaselli. And in the 90th minute, we have the chance to win the game from a corner. Would we be able to take this chance? Pascal standing over it. He whips it in towards Caputo. It's punched away. Castagnetti underneath it, but he can't win the header. Lazovic is on the ball. He's coming upfield. A great tackle from Romagnoli, but he can't keep it in, and it goes out for a corner. But here's one last chance. Zaych storming into the box. He finds Untersee. Untersee back to Zaych. Across to Benasser. Into Donnarumma. But he really should have scored that. What a poor hit. That is not just not good enough, really. But in the end, it did take a deflection. So I guess that was probably why it missed. But we had one last corner. Pascal whips it in towards Caputo, who won the header. But despite it being on target, the keeper managed to make the save. And that was the end of the 90, meaning that this game would be decided by extra time. And here we are, kicking off the start of extra time. The only goals in this game have been own goals as Laperto fails to make that challenge. Luxalt whipping it in, but thankfully the header from that man there did not find the back of the net. But here they play a nice little 1-2, Pandev and Robin Van Persie. And Pandev, after missing that sitter in the first half of normal time, goes and scores this stunner. In the first half of extra time, you would have much expected him to score the first one than the second. But in in um response to that, we bring on Triore for Castagnetti in an attacking change. But here's Rossi whipping it in, and they make it three one thanks to I think that's RVP who made yeah it was RVP who scored the goal with a header. I'm surprised how he was able to beat our defenders in the air. He wasn't good enough defending, really. They sh they had goal side, and they are taller than him, and he's just jumped over them and won the header. It's not really good enough, and now it's 3-1, and we need two goals in the second half of extra time, as there is the first half of extra time all used up. And we'll go all we go an all-out attack for this last bit. Here is Zaych coming up field, two minutes after the start of the second half. Donnarumma turns his man, he finds Caputo, but a great block from that defender, and he really should have scored that. If he came to the ball instead of just waited for it to come to him, it would have been 3-2. But we have the corner. Lots of men getting into the box. We'll aim it round near them, but the keeper comes out and punches again. Laperto underneath it, plays it back, Pascal... Out to Zaych, he's got an overlapping runner in Untersee, he uses him, Untersee with the cross, but it was well defended by that player, I don't think ground crosses are very good this year in FIFA 18, but here they're coming up on the attack, a great ball across to Rossi, and our defence just was nowhere, and it was 4-1 just like that, but here, and that looked like the game done, but here with three minutes left, Caputo makes it 4-2, a very nice finish. If only he could have done that in the 90th minute of normal time instead of here, where it looks like it'll just be a consolation goal. A nice through ball from Triore finds Caputo, and he puts it into the back of the net. But here they come. 
on the counter, but that was actually full time. A poor defeat by us, 4 2 in the cup. You should have defended better. But if those two post shots that hit the post went in, in the first half, we would have it would have been 4 4 instead of 4 2. But anyway, after the game, we went in to try and loan in Luca Creco from Lazio. Hopefully, he could make a good impact in the team. We're looking for a one-year loan. We couldn't go for a two-year loan. I think that means he doesn't have two years left on his contract in the um, parent club. But anyway, they were happy with that. Um, and in terms of wage split, we went for a 30-70 wage split. He wasn't on much. So when they offered 60-40, I think I accepted that, or I might have gone for 50-50. Or maybe a reverse. Ugh. No, we went for 45-55. And they were happy with that. Oh, that's good. So we get that deal done. We're just waiting on confirmation from Creco, And then we were here considering between Della Rocca and Falcao, as who we, we should bring in permanently in central midfield. Falcao, younger and higher rated, but also on a higher wage, would probably cost more and not as suited to Serie B football, and as such would probably find it harder to, um, what's the right word, settle in, and he wouldn't really know what he was, what was expected of him. But anyway, we had a transfer offer of 1 million accepted for Della Rocca, and we delegated um, to Sant to Falcao to see what we would be able to get for him. I didn't go, did I not go higher? No, I didn't go higher than 1,500. And sorry that I'm getting more spam messages from my cousin. But anyway, Creco accepted that loan d deal. He is coming in. Della Rocca is looking forward to contract negotiations, but our bid for Falcao was still in the works. So that was going to be a bit of a problem. But in fix to this, I decided to delegate De La Rocca's contract offer. And as such, that would go on for a while, leaving us time to get Falcao's um, bid back. And they reached an agreement of 1.2, which was a rather decent um, deal. And De La Rocca has accepted one no, 4.5, I thought it said 1.2, 4.5k a week, which was a lot less expensive than what Falcao wanted. He wanted 7.7 .7 a week and with some hefty bonuses of um, adding up to, what's that, 350? 250 is it? Yeah, 250,000. And that one I offered him 5,000 a week. Unfortunately, as you'll see in a second, they were not happy with that and just stormed out. So that meant that we would be going for De La Rocca who we accepted and got into the squad here. But then after this, we also went in for Rodriguez. Zaych hasn't been performing too well, and he's, I think, our lowest-rated player in the first team. So we're trying to get in this man, Rodriguez. I think he's only one rating higher, but he is also young and has the room to grow. But we get a um, one million... <sighs> Sorry. Sorry, we get a one million euro offer accepted and then we delegate his contract hoping to get him for no more than 5.1 hopefully around two but anyway Della Rocca makes his debut in this next match against Palmer don't really recognize any of their players Siligardi's name sounds familiar but apart from that don't think I know anybody but anyway they're playing a 4-3-3 we on the other hand, it's sporting a 5-2-1-2. Mishad Lidze returns to the first team after he is back from, from injury. And Della Rocca replaces Buglio on debut. And here come Palmer with the first attack of the game. It's De Gordio finding Scaglia. And he, I'm pretty sure it's not Scaglia. Scaglia, maybe. It's the G like silent. But anyway, he pops that one into the top corner. Very nice finish. But here we're coming on the counter attack. Castagnetti receiving the ball. And hitting the post with his left-footed effort. Cut across it, and it was never curling back in. And it hits the outside of the post and goes out. But here come Palmer again. A great ball over the top. De Gordio was there. 
He keeps it in, plays it in along the floor, and this time, thankfully, was Scalia puts that one over the bar. But here's Zaitch on the ball. He shoots. It's a great save by the keeper. And Iacoponi eventually hits it clear. But here we're on the ball again. Della Rocca receiving the ball. He charges into the box and just misses. That would have been a stunner to score on debut just before half time as well. Unfortunately, though, it was always curling away from that top corner and didn't nestle in the back of the net anyway. But that was half time. We were 1 0 down and we were needing to have a comeback in the second half. Would we be able to do that though? But here comes Undersea down the right hand side and his cross finds Caputo who puts it into the back of the net very nicely there on the header. The keeper came out to try and get it but he could not beat our number nine to the cross and he makes it 1-1 on the 50 minute mark but here come Palmer in response. It's Gamoni laying it off for Scozzarella who puts that one past the post but here we're coming back on the counter attack. Pascal Lift, lifting it up into the middle and Caputo heads it over but here we bring on Creco for his debut for Castagnetti hopefully he can make an impact and then we also bring on Traore on the 65 minute mark for Zaych but here we go Mishad Lidze out to Untersee oh, sorry. I'm tired but here's Creco back heels it Mishad Lidze on the ball turns he shoots, but that was not the best of hits. And there's still another 15 minutes left for us to try and get the goal. Here's a free kick. Pascal standing over it. And he went for a low driven shot, but unfortunately the wall didn't jump. But the clearance is bad. Della Rocca back to Creco. He looks for Caputo. Caputo gets into the box, but he's tackled. And they get it clear. And here, up in the... Oh, Vaselli doesn't win the header. It's headed on here to Di Gordio, who plays it inside. And Desi finishes the the um chance. He makes it 2-1 Palmer with 12 minutes to go. And unfortunately, that was how the game would finish as well. So, a loss on the opening day of the Serie B season. And knocked out of the Coppa Italia as well. What a rather dis disappointing episode but if that shot that hit the post from Castagnetti in the first ga if the first half had gone it would have been 2-2 we we're just not getting the luck really but anyway that'll be it for today's episode I hope you have enjoyed it if you have please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time goodbye